There's a huge amount of disappointment psychically over the atomic age not living up to its promises. Now, is that going to happen to the AI age? I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't know how it's going to play out. I don't think that we will be disappointed. My perspective on progress and so on has, of course, changed. At the moment, I have this impression that things are moving again because the future is again changing faster than the existing systems can adapt. I think it's interesting to compare the atomic age with this moment, um, but um, I think there's another way to look at it, which is a little bit more cautionary. Um, I would say that for many of us, the atomic, the atomic age has played out to be a disappointment. What I mean by that is this. Um, if you read the sci-fi written at the time, at the dawn of the atomic age, it was seen as a transformative technology, like it would transform every aspect of society. Um, the way it played out is quite different. Uh, I mean, on the strategic level, it became a tool of stasis. Uh, it essentially maintained spheres of influence and stopped wars in a way that previous technologies were only envisioned to do but did not. That was not quite how people envisioned it would work out. And on the civilian side, I think all of us, as young children, when we learned how nuclear power plants actually work, we were disappointed, I think, at least I was. Here you have this amazing, powerful physics thing. And the way you generate power is you turn water into steam and spin some turbines. I, I, I don't know. I think I was disappointed when I learned that that was how that worked. I was like, this is really dumb. Um, and that's basically where we are. So there's a huge amount of disappointment, I think, uh, psychically over the atomic age, not living up to its promises. Now, is that going to happen to the AI age? I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't know how it's going to play out. Um, to me, the most useful applications of AI so far of large language models um, has been in the realm of protein folding, right? These are large language model-like techniques being applied to protein folding and essentially solving a problem that um, was deemed unsolvable. That, to me, is the most impactful thing AI has done so far. Um, so if AI ends up being you know, the sort of technology that leads to hundreds or thousands of similar level kinds of innovations, then I would say this is way, way more impactful than the atomic age. But at the same time, another possibility is we just end up with AI replacing a bunch of semi-creative jobs and leading to a kind of uh, Industrial Revolution 2.001, um, which is not all that promising. I would feel about that about the same way I feel about nuclear power plants. So that's kind of how I feel. We don't know how it's going to turn out. Yosha, continuing with this nuclear analogy, uh, you've been writing about cognitive architectures, and there's all these terms of art, attention, transformer, retrieval, agentic behavior. Would you mind giving us a, 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 a brief overview, a status update in the project of superhuman intelligence and what it looks like? Yeah, are we going to be disappointed? Do you agree with that? I don't think that we will be disappointed. My perspective on progress and so on has, of course, changed. How many of you have read Snow Crash? Okay, Diamond Age? Anything? <laughs> okay, so just we have an idea of a baseline, right? Uh, when we read Snow Crash for the first time, it read like a dystopia, at least I think it did for many of us. And now when we reread it, it's not quite so much a dystopia, I think. And in part because it's so, there is so much fatality in it, right? This is, uh, it seems to me that we since then moved into a world that became slower as molasses, that became more and more senescent, then, that we realized that every new technology doesn't get a few decades as in the past, but only a few years until it gets regulated to death. And uh, there is a world that is still alive, that is still moving forward, it's moving into weird directions and so on, but there is stuff happening. And so I think there's also this question, is this technology that we are doing, is it calcifying faster than we can innovate? Are things going to shit faster than new things are growing? And that is to, in somewhat of an open question, but at the moment I have this impression that things are moving again because the future is again changing faster than the existing systems can adapt and start to colonize them and destroy them. And so there is currently a moving avant-garde that keeps things in motion. And the avant-garde is very different from what we thought it would be. We 
didn't think that the answer to AGI would be use more compute and more data. We thought there was some kind of smart master algorithm, I think. Or many of us did. And then we realized that basically everything we did in the last 70 years in AI was not in the critical past. We could have stayed with Rosenblatt's work on the perceptron and then just continued and wait until Moore's laws catches up and we get the following thing, right? The LLMs and so on. And I think that what I found fascinating when I read uh, Neil's work was he didn't believe in AGI in his earlier book. So for some reason it doesn't feature, maybe you can explain where that is. But uh, in Diamond Age, you get an LLM. And it's a really smart LLM, but it's not agentic by itself. It's really entirely supplemental. And there is no change of identity of the world due to these technologies. Right? You get a virtual world that is super smart, but there is no competition to us. It's still us. And the world that we are in right now, it doesn't seem to be about us ultimately, because the next us is going to be different. People are going to hybridize, I think. They will have their decisions and partial made by their personal AI that they share all their thoughts with. And so we will change into something else. I don't know if disappointing is the right word for that. Um, that's, that's certainly like significant, 